Hi guys, I'm Mel and basically as you can tell from the title I'm in a bit of a ranting mood. Just before I start I'd like to point out that we all have flaws so I'm not ranting at like specific people. I am going to generalise just because it stops me being had a go at and text after this video goes out. I'd like to say that I have my flaws more than most but most of them are basically things like I'm really fickle, I can be quite vain. Um, but overly self-conscious, uh, I get nervous, I'm socially shy, I'm kind of an introvert, introvert, introvert and an extrovert at the same time. Um, I've been called an exhibitionist by one of my lecturers, so that was fun. Um, yeah, I'm really, really indecisive, but I'm super stubborn, so even if I know I'm wrong, I'm going to keep arguing, and that's fine. And I drink too much tea. Okay, basically, I'm making this video because... This year I was like, it's my second year, I've actually got time to date, so I should probably date some people. Um, I actually was with somebody for the first five months of this year. I met them New Year's Eve, he's a really really cool guy, we broke up amic amicab amicably? Amicably? That's a word, right? Um, but basically we wanted different things, he wanted to play his Xbox or Playstation, whatever the hell it was. And I wanted a serious relationship, and considering I was just starting a very important time in my career um, I needed somebody to share that with and unfortunately he wasn't it so I was like how do people meet guys my uni friends are not dateable to me because but also I don't think I'd be very dateable to them because we run in different circles and we're just not each other's types and that's fine Um, so I was like how else do people meet guys oh wait online dating but I wasn't prepared, yeah, I want love in my life, but I'm not prepared to pay 9 99 a month for it. So, buy a match.com. Um, so, I got Tinder. Um, if you follow my blog, you will know that me and my housemate wrote about it. Sort of, we basically said, you know, what guys were like on Tinder and what we thought of the app in general. And that was fine. But I've still been using the app since, and it's been a couple of months. Um, and the kind of guys I've met on there have just been unreal. You get some guys where it's so obvious what they're after, and it's not a nice relationship. Um, and then I've met some really, really nice guys on there. Like, really nice. Like, if I think that if I was anyone else on the planet, I would have probably been dating one of them by now. But... I just have issues because I just don't seem to want to date these nice guys. I want to date the, not the proper sleazeball guys, but the ones that are mean to you and don't really care and aren't paying attention to you, like, at all. Whereas these nice guys, a lot of them, you know, they, like, you start talking to them because they're really, really nice people and you're like, oh, wow, we could be friends or date or whatever. And then they're like, you tell them about your past and your exes or whatever. And they just want to take you on all like, these moonlight strolls and on picnics and the cinema and for like a wine and dine. I'm just like, that's really sweet, but I don't want that. I can't be the only person on the planet that's like that, but I just don't want somebody that feels they need to take care of me, like try and heal me from my past, like my my exes or whatever, and I'm like, I don't want that. I'm very independent, and I thoroughly believe in learning from your past and never regretting anything. So, when these guys are trying to say they basically want to protect me and and they want to ignore my past, I'm like, well, I can't do that. But these, really, these nice guys are just, they're just too nice for me, they're really clingy and cuddly and they're like oh I really like you and I just don't want that I want a guy that's gonna know that if I'm in the middle of writing a chapter don't talk to me because I won't answer you know I don't want these guys that are gonna text me and then if I don't answer 10 minutes later they're gonna keep texting me or they're gonna ring me or they're gonna text my friends like where is she is she with you I don't want that kind of relationship at all I just I just don't want it because I can't be dealing with another person's issues right now. I have too many of my own. I know that makes me sound horrible and selfish, and I guess I kind of am, but I can't deal with another person's problems right now because I have one of the most important years of my life coming up. I'm going to finish my degree, 
so that involves actually finishing my degree I'm going on a graduation holiday I have to look for, find and start paying for a new apartment because I move out at the end of June I have to then graduate um, I have to work a full time job all of all the meanwhile that's just, you know, that's probably what everyone else in my position is going through but then there's me because for some reason I decided to start my career early so in the meantime I'll probably have to write another novel whilst promoting all the books I've already got plus blogs, plus YouTube, plus all of my social media and trying to maintain a social life I'm amazed I don't explode every day the amount of stress I go through I need to do all of that stuff and somehow fit in a relationship because as bad as it sounds relationships are not first port of call for me I don't sit here and go oh my god I'm really lonely I wish I had a boyfriend honestly most of the time it doesn't even cross my mind it only crosses my mind when I get a tinder match and I'm like oh my god he could be the one and then I see his profile and I'm just like mm, maybe not he does outdoor sports I can't even get myself to the gym um but basically I don't know how to date and I'm in a crisis so if you're an independent hot guy that goes to uni in Kent and likes reading and authors and doesn't think I'm a complete psycho then you know tweet me at Holden 94 I think we could do some great things I'm really interested to see what you will think of this kind of video so please let me know um, like, click, comment, subscribe and all that jazz and I'll see you next week on Friday mm, subscribe please